pleasure and an honor to be here today to be a part of this ceremony. It is, uh, it's been a long time coming. I hope I don't get nervous, so just bear with me. But I want to welcome everyone to the dedication ceremony of the Stephen G. Terrell Recreation Center and Community Park. And it, uh, like Steve would say, it gives me great honor to be here. So anyway, if you know Steve. But um, now I'd like to um, bring a few folks up to kind of say a few words to, to get this thing kicked off. And uh, I'm going to start off with the Allen Sports Association president, uh, Brant Wood. Please come on up, Brant. Uh, thank you, Mayor Brooks. Um, I wasn't sure how I'd feel after such a long process when I first walked in the door, and uh, two words came to mind. I was proud and I was thankful. Uh, first thing, uh, personally, I was proud to be a citizen of the city of Allen for 22 years. Everything Allen does is with class, and you see this building today, just wow. Uh, really proud. Proud to have been an active member of the Allen Sports Association for all of those 22 years. So that's why I'm here today representing ASA. Um, and lastly, I was proud to be part of the steering committee. So I'll mention the city later, but what a first class way of going through the process of building this facility. There were lots of different ideas. Um, and people had different focus on what they wanted to see here. And you walk around this facility and there's nothing like it. So super proud of everything that was accomplished here today. Thankful. Um, I want to thank a few of our partners in the community. And I speak on behalf of everybody at ASA. First, I'd like to thank the Allen Independent School District. The thousands and thousands of games that have been played indoors at um, AISD facilities the thousands of memories that were made, including some of the greatest memories uh, in my family, uh, were made in elementary schools, middle school gyms, and that will continue. The opening of this facility today enables us to grow, enables us to do different things going forward, but we never could have gotten here without the use of those facilities and the partnership we have with the Allen Independent School District. So thank you. I'd like to also thank the Lovejoy Independent School District for some of the same reasons. Uh, the ability to use their facilities for bringing your volunteers, for bringing your teams, your coaches, and most importantly, your kids. Um, I'd like to thank them as well. And last, but certainly not least, I'd like to thank the City of Allen. ASA is a nonprofit youth sports organization, could never have done anything of this magnitude. So without the partnership with the city, um, we wouldn't be here. So I want to thank the city for that. I want to thank you for your professional process, for listening to our concerns. Most importantly, maybe for understanding our point of view and what it is that we do for the community. So thank you so very much for including us in the process. And I'm just happy to be here. Appreciate your time. Thank you, Brent. Uh, next, I'd like to call up our Parks and Recreation Director, Kate Meacham. Thank you so much. Uh, we are so excited to have everybody finally here at the Stephen G. Terrell Recreation Center and Community Park. It has definitely been a long time coming. Um, there have been many, many people uh, who have come before that have laid an incredible foundation for my team to get us here. But before acknowledging my team, I need to acknowledge one person. And in particular, Assistant City Manager, former Parks and Recreation Director, Tim Dentler. Tim personally worked on this project dating back to when he acquired the land in the early 2000s, a long time ago. I asked my team this morning who was born in 2000. I was a little disappointed in the number of hands that went up. Uh, <laughs> so uh, not only did he acquire the land of which this building is on, he also led that community input that we spoke about earlier. So many community input surveys, community gathering meetings that occurred to truly make this the, the highlight of the community as a gathering space. 
He also began the design phase of the project. Um, and before I was here about four years ago, I uh, began that process and then handed it off to me when I began working for the city of Allen in March of 2020. So thank you, Tim, for laying an incredible foundation for my team, and we are truly thankful for everything that you did for us. In addition to Tim, we are also thankful for many other team members who are no longer working for the city, but spent countless hours on this project and helped make it is what, today, what it is today. Some are here today um, and others we have been in communication with and they are also very proud of the, the work they have done over the years. When I first came to the city of Allen in March 2020, I knew a facility was in the works, but I didn't know the details of it. After learning that Barker Rinker Seacat Architecture out of Denver was on the project, I could not be happier. Having just wrapped another project with them, I knew the team and I knew they would help us design a state-of-the-art facility. It was an easy transition and one I'm truly grateful for. I especially want to thank Melissa King and Kevin Armstrong for their dedication to this project as well as the countless others behind the scenes at BRS who made this beautiful building for us today. After the design was well underway and we approached the construction phase of the project, I knew few general, contract, uh, general contractors in the area could handle such a complexity of a special facility. After going through our bid process, there was one clear standout, and I knew we found the best of the best in Adolphson and Peterson. Starting such a large construction project, while navigating getting out of the pandemic, <laughs> and dealing with supply chain issues, I am so thankful for the partnership we had to deliver this phenomenal project under budget. Yeah. 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 Say that one more time. Yes, you heard me correctly. We delivered this under budget. A special thank you to Stan Morgan, Travis Thompson, Josh Patton, and Cooper Ogerly for your timeless, uh, tireless commitment to getting our facility done to such a high standard. We truly appreciate it. Now as we transition from construction into operation, I could not be more proud of our team and what they have done over the last year to prepare for today. There have been sleepless nights, long hours, and painstaking work to ensure today and every day here forward that our residents truly would understand our department's vision of inspiring your best life. So I want to give a special thank you to Timmy uh, Vescohosel and his entire team. He's the facility manager here, um, and his team has done phenomenal work over the last year. Alyssa Malone is our recreation services manager, assistant directors Teresa Thomason and Kyle Benedict, my entire parks leadership team, but more importantly, all 518 parks and recreation team members who have helped directly or indirectly to make today happen. I truly have a dream team. I would also be remiss if I didn't say a special thank you to all of our city departments. This was a huge team effort. Um, I am very proud to say many, if not all, departments also played a role. Um, team Allen is a strong team and it, it supports everybody and we truly appreciate the support they gave to our department, um, especially over the last few weeks. Um, but our team also helped support several boards who also contributed. Some were mentioned earlier, but I also uh, need to mention the Allen Parks Foundation, the Public Art Committee, and the library, who we will recognize next Thursday with the dedication of our storybook trail here at the Stephen G. Terrell Community Park. So whether you jump on our nearly 50-foot high treehouse, coming in February, um, <laughs> Play pickleball 22. The number's 22 for anybody who's asking me. There are 22 pickleball courts. Uh, take a batting cage session to work on your batting, uh, your baseball swing, or a session in the soon to be installed golf simulator. Uh, you have to fight Eric Elwinger for space, maybe, but uh, otherwise you can get in. Or just get a workout on our amazing fitness floor. Just know each and every activity here at STRC has been designed, construct, constructed, and programmed with every single Allen resident in mind. For those who haven't got a membership yet, you're one of few. 
Um, so check out one of our team members today. We'll be happy to sell you a membership before you leave um, because you need to join one of 5,000 439 pre-memberships oh, wow. that were purchased prior to opening without even seeing the building. So we are very proud uh, of everything that our team has accomplished and can't wait to open the doors to everybody here in a few hours. Thank you. Thank you, Kate. Thank you very much, Kate. Kate, what was the, um, you know, we had a goal um, for pre-opening. What was yes. that goal? It was 2,000 total memberships, which that 5,000 is part of. Those wow. are individual numbers. Wow, wow, thank you for that. Yeah, you forgot to mention, you know, you were talking about delays, and you forgot to, me you forgot to mention about the hail. <laughs> had an experience that, yeah. <clears throat> well, good, thank you for that. Next, I'd like to uh, introduce our city manager, Eric L. Winger, come up and have a few remarks. Good morning, everybody, and thank you so much for being here. I love to be part of a community that dreams big, and I think this facility is proof that we dream big in Allen. Um, as Allen's city manager, as well as a longtime resident, I've looked forward to this day with great excitement. So I'm delighted to be here to recognize all the entities who helped us put the dollars behind the dreams. First, last, and always, credit goes to our Allen citizens, our taxpayers, the voters who, uh, who made this happen. In 2016, Allen voters resoundingly approved a $16 million bond, which would provide a financial foundation for this amazing project. That's on top of bonds that were sold back way back in 2007 to help purchase the land. Uh, this, when we say this has been a long time coming, it's been a long time coming. Um, we're also thrilled to participate in this project with a partner like Allen Sports Association. ASA contributed an additional $3 million to help us make this facility a true gathering place for Allen's young athletes and their families. But most of the funding, more than $35 million, came from a different source. Uh, to me, this contribution is one of the things that makes this project so unique and so special. This funding source exists to bring dollars in from outside of our community and to help reduce the tax burden on the people who live here. I'm talking, of course, about the Allen Community Development Corporation. You might not know this, but every time someone spends money in Allen, uh, they pay a half a cent of sales tax uh, that goes to enhancing the quality of life here in Allen. So wh whether someone is here for a work conference or playing in a sports tournament or just driving down the road from McKinney to buy a designer purse at the outlet mall or something like that, they're con contributing to our ability to make Allen even greater and make Allen the awesome community that it is. The Allen City Council appoints members to the CDC board, community members, volunteers, and we rely on this group of citizens to assess and propose annual projects to subsidize with sales tax funds, this being one of the biggest they've ever, ever uh, done, obviously. As the person responsible for putting together the city's budget every year, this makes my job that much easier. Um, and, and it really is a, an honor to be able to be part of a community that, that um, you know, thinks amenities like this are something special. Um, and we do it all while still lowering your property tax rate every year for more than 30 years. That yeah, that's right. <laughs> so to every person in this room and the many outside it who negotiated contracts, chased down grant funding, looked for innovative ways to make this community's dreams a financial reality, thank you. This building is a wonderful tribute to your work on behalf of Allen residents and is sure to be a source of community pride for decades to come. Now I'm going to go off script a little bit. Uh, I on purpose ask that I have not have names in here because a, a project like this is, is not any one single person, obviously. It's not even a handful of people. It's hundreds. It's thousands of people. Um, the entire organization, the entire community is part of this. But I, I couldn't stand up here and, and not mention just a few people. And I'm going to say right now, 
that I'm going to miss people, probably people that were more important than the people I'm mentioning, <laughs> and I, I apologize ahead. But I got seven people I just want to give a quick shout out to. Uh, the first two, I want to start by saying, you know, uh, I'm, I think everybody who knows me thinks of me as a pretty easygoing guy. Uh, these two saw the not so easygoing side <laughs> when, you know, when I was in meetings with them saying, why aren't we open yet? And that's Kate Meacham and Assistant City Manager Rebecca Weiss. So thank you both. <laughs> yeah, thanks for putting up with me. Uh, um, besides that, I. Uh, the bulk of my speech was about CDC, and that's because the, the CDC was such an important part, of, a vital part of making this a reality. So I would be remiss if I didn't recognize three leaders that have been leaders of the CDC during my tenure, and George Chrisman, Tommy Berry, and Matt Foster. Thank you. Uh, one person that's going to be mentioned a lot today, I can't be up here and not mention Mayor Steve Terrell. So thank you for your leadership and vision. <laughs> and then finally, Kate already called him out, but I couldn't be up here and not recognize a person that has put so much of his heart into this, and that's Tim Dentler. So thanks. <laughs> Thank you again for being here. Um, the organization is so proud of this, uh, and you know, just uh, it, it's just a special thing for the community. So thank you so much. So. Steve, I get to drink out of the Terrell Recreation Center finally for the first time. Oh, <laughs> it's five o'clock somewhere. I'm just kidding. anyway. Uh, as we were getting started today, um, I had, um, you know, you, you spoke a little bit about the CDC and, and how special they've been and the things that they've done to, to over the years to, to get projects done. Um, the CDC president came up to me today, Matt Foster. He says, uh, Bain, I'm so glad that t everybody's here today to celebrate my birthday. <laughs> I'm going, man, you got to rent this thing out. But anyway, <laughs> but I have a few things to say about the, um, the history, the naming of the center, the presentation, and the, uh, and the framework of how this all came about. Uh, this project, and, I'm, and Eric mentioned a few things. I think he went to my script. But anyway, this project, uh, you know, it's a long time in the making. Uh, there was a lot of folks involved in planning this. Uh, you talked about... Um, the property was purchased in December of 2000, and uh, the purchase was finalized in 2001 with the property held in a trust. It was in a trust at the, at the Texas Parks Recreation Foundation until the, the project was ready for development. In 2010, as a part of our parks master plan process, we asked residents about their priorities for current and future recreation facilities. And the, the citizens said, uh, we're going to put it number eight on our list. Well, as we move forward, five years later, uh, we asked the community again about the priorities of the parks and the recreation projects throughout the city of Allen. And at that time, the new recreation center ranked as number two on the priority list. Council decided to get specific uh, directives from our taxpayers about the majority community investment and called a bond election that was held in 2000 and spring of 2016. In that election, Allen voters approved $27 million in parks projects, including $16 million specifically for this particular building. So in 2018 and 19, the city completed an in-depth assessment of the community needs. This included feasibility studies, public meetings, you know, Steve always said, the more input you get from citizens, the better decisions that you make. And a special steering committee uh, that toured other centers and learned about cost and budgets that would impact the city. From 2000 to 2019, 19 years of planning, 19 years, there was uh, someone who had been there each and every step of the way throughout 2000 to 2019. And then some, 
At the end of 2019, Mayor Steve Terra announced he would end his, uh, his career, his uh, public service after 23 years of Mayor of Allen. He had served in that role since 1997 and was on the council since 1991. At the end of his term, Steve was quoted as saying, he'd always say this, I didn't build Allen. The people built Allen, Texas. You just told me what you wanted, and I made it happen. That's what Steve said. Steve was always willing to play a long, he played the long game. He would always play the long game. Unwilling to settle for the easy option when he knew Allen was worth more, worthy of more. The building and the park around, the building and park around it uh, is fitting to the tribute to his legacy. Since 2020, other mayors and council members have steered this process, approving construction plans in 2021, breaking, around, uh, breaking ground around uh, just a few months later, right after that, uh, and guiding decisions on funding along the way. But the naming of this facility guarantees that a piece, that a piece of you will always be in this building. And we want to make sure that a piece of this building is always with you. So, thank you. So with that said, Steve, you know, we've seen what you've done. We've seen the leadership. We've seen how you've gathered people around you and, and made them feel a part of it. You know, I started in 2012 and you brought me on and made me feel a part of, of, of what we do as a council. And you've done it to others as well. I am truly, truly honored to be up here today to be able to do this. I don't know how many other mayors will get this opportunity, but I truly, truly feel that this is something that uh, I can just write my book on. So there's something special that we'd like to give you. It was handmade, and uh, once again, we want you to know that you will always be a part of this, and this, come on up, Steve. This way. Okay, he's been working out. I'm not too old yet. Come on this side, not too old yet. This is one of the prettiest things I've seen in a very long time, and uh, Kate, who drew this? Bridget C. Bridget C. And you ready? Not yet, Steve. Not yet. Okay. Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> I got more to say. <laughs> I'm just keep talking. Keep talking. No. <laughs> but no, this is something that we'd like to present to you. Wow. wow. No, no, no. This is. This is. Uh, And, and, you know, I would, I would be um, not doing the right thing if I didn't say that this council and this council before have just appreciated all the things that you've done. And today's a special day, a really, really special day. And I hope you and your family enjoy this. And uh, I'm ready for you to give your speech. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready for you, so uh -oh. I'm going oh. to take a seat. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> it might be a while. You know, I, I honestly, I, you know, I, I just don't tell how many sheets of paper I tore up going through trying to figure out what to say, what angle I wanted to come from, who I wanted to mention, where we were at, um, you know, and, and then, of course, there was always the weather that came into play today, and we thought it was going to be awful, but unfortunately, the weatherman, as usual, missed it by 80 <laughs> percent. So uh, that's a very thankful thing, too. So, uh, Brent, I want to thank you for being part of ASA for many, many years. I want you to, people in this room to understand that ASA is one of the biggest assets the city of Allen ever had. And the reason I say that is, is all the volunteer people that you have and all the youth that you guys take care of, is an absolutely benefit to the city of Allen, no matter what. Thank you very much for being part of this.
to her. You know, Kate, I know that I've been down here a lot of times, and this is one of the few times I didn't come down here with a hard hat on <laughs> and a vest that was orange and whatever colors. And um, Kate, I, I want to thank you very much for pushing this project, keeping it going. I mean, it's outstanding. And I want to tell you, you do have the funnest job in the city of Allen, by the way. I didn't know if you knew that, but Parks and Rec are the greatest, okay? Thank you very much, Kate. Eric, unfortunately, I want to tell you, you got the toughest job in the city of Allen, and, you know? But you know what? You have done an outstanding job since you took the shoes of a gentleman that I really admire. Thank you very much. And Eric, hang in there, buddy. You're doing great. <laughs> and obviously. Bain, thank you very much for all the kind words you just said. Thank you, and, and you know what? I'll have to say this, Bain. Even though you served under me under the council, I taught you well. You've done a great <laughs> job. You know? Outstanding, thank you. And thank you for being a great friend of mine, too, through times of all times. Um, you know, a lot of people don't really realize that in, when I ran in, for Allen City Council in 1991, there was a couple of reasons that I ran, and it was kind of interesting. I ran because there were no parks in the city of Allen. We had no parks, very few hike and bike trails. The tax rate was skyrocketing. We were at a tax rate that was probably close to 74, 75 cents in growing. And uh, there was an interesting thing, and I, I was always one of those people that said, if we could come up with some created financing, we could cover both of them. We could reduce the tax rate, and we could create a park system that is far bar none to any others in the world. And so what we did is, and this is an interesting story, uh, we created what we called the half-cent sales tax for economic development and the half-cent sales tax for community development. But I have a little story to tell before I go into that. At the time, we had Mayor Joe Farmer. He was our mayor. And me and Kevin Lilly, former mayor Kevin Lilly, sat back in our chair and said, what are we going to do? So we said, let's present it to Mayor Farmer and see what he thinks. So we were all sitting around in a room, and Joe leans back in his chair and looks at all of us and says, okay, so what's on your mind? And we all looked at Joe and said, me and Kevin looked at each other across the table, and uh, we could see how this was going. And uh, so Kevin looked at me, and then I looked at him. I said, well, Mayor we're kind of interested in trying to bring out the half-cent sales tax for economic development and the community development. M Mayor Farmer leaned back in his chair for a minute and thought, and, and it said, this meeting's over. <laughs> so, and then I looked at him, you know, and I, so we all looked at him and said, well, okay, well, that's a no. So we're going on down the road a little bit. So about two weeks later, I want to show you something that's really impressed me. Two weeks later, Mayor Farmer came into the room and looked at all six of us and said, if that's the way this council wants to go, then I'll back it 100%. That shows you a great leader that Joe Farmer was for the city of Allen, and that's where we went. We took the CDC board at that point, and we put both of them on a ballot, and we went around and sold them to both places. Unfortunately, the original CDC board did not pass. The Economic Development Board passed, but the CDC board at that time did not pass. So about a year later, Mayor Farmer had stepped down and we had a new mayor, which was Kevin Lilly at the time. And so we decided at that point that me and Dr. Bishop would take the Economic Development CDC board back to the vote of the people. Of course, the council thought we had the plague. They would stay plumb away from us at that time, so, because nobody wanted to be near us at that time. So but we took it back to the people and it passed and the CDC board with the help of ASA. We got them out and they were help, one of our biggest campaigners at that time. And so we passed the CDC board. But we passed the CDC board, but from the standpoint that 50% of, of the board could be used for bonding of general obligation bonds basically or any kind of outside funding. But then on the other thing is, is that the, um, the other side of it had to be st basically stay in cash form so they could spend it for any reason that it needs to be within the park system. I do want to point out one thing real quick, and this is I'm jumping around a little bit and I apologize. The original board of that CDC was, and it was only five members at that time, 
And here they are. Their former mayor, Debbie Stout. Former council member, Robin Solacek. Former council member, Carl Klimacek. And also, there was me. <laughs> so, and those were the five. And there's also one called Jason Collier, and he has moved off a long time ago. But Jason, that was the original board. And you can see where they've all gone from this board to the actually being on the Allen City Council at a time. Well, obviously the voters passed the CDC, and I'm hanging in the CDC because I know there's a lot of things to talk about, and I did a lot of things. Economic development, you know, is, you know, has done just a tremendous thing for the city of Allen. You can just go around and look at the part, the, the buildings, the things we have, the infrastructure. It's done an outstanding job. But I'm leaning towards CDC today because this is CDC. We're standing in today. And I like to tell that story. But the CDC passed, and then we used it in various different ways. But over the, over the past years, I want to give you some clues. The CDC has funded four major parks, over 63 miles of hike and bike trails, skateboard park enhancements, enhancements to the senior citizen, the courses of Waters Creek, built numerous, rebuilt numerous neighborhood parks, the Molson Farm Project, the Heritage Village, Credit Union of Texas Event Center and the, and the train depot. You know, one thing I learned about all of this was is when you build parks, large corporations come in for different reasons to the city of Allen. And, and the large corporations look for amenities. And one of those amenities are parks. The other one is obviously schools, which Allen had great schools, but we were building our park structure at that time. And so we wound up building, and as we brought in other businesses, what did it do? It reduced our tax rate. And it also enhanced the quality of our life in the city of Allen. You know, I would be remiss if I did not mention the people that were responsible for naming this building in my armor. And if I could please, you know, if any of them are here, I'd like for them to stand up, because it is an honor to me. One of them is Lauren Daughtery. Chris Schulmeister, Kirk Kaiser, Carl Klimacek, and Bain Brooks, and Gary Kaplinger. If y'all could stand up. I want to thank y'all very much from the bottom of my heart. And then I want to take an honor right now to mention the folks that actually stuck their neck out is what I call it. And they sold the bonds to move this project forward. And at that time, that would be Mayor Ken Folk, Chris Schulmeister, Bain Brooks, Lauren Daugherty, Kirk Kaiser, and Carl Klimacek. Thank you all very much. <laughs> also, I'd like to thank all of the former council members and all the former boards of commission members that I served with. All of them, I will tell you, truly had Allen, Texas in their heart. And that was a great asset for me. I have a few other people to mention real fast. And um, that got me. I don't know if E.T. Boone is here. Is E.T. here? E.T., stand up. <laughs> you know, that's where he always sits, is on the back roll. I promise you that. But I wouldn't think about E.T. as... He was my first treasurer, and he is the one that convinced me back in 1991 that I needed to run for council. And he is, uh, all him and Gail always used to support me drastically. E.T. and Gail were big supporters of mine. Thank you, E.T. None of this would have been possible if you didn't start me down that road. Thank you. <laughs> and another gentleman I would have a hard time not mentioning is Mayor Joe Farmer. You know, he was a great mentor to me, and any time I needed to have some advice or talk to him or need him to lead a bond campaign or go out and do the, um, for example, the North Texas Municipal Water District get us voted in, whatever it was, Mayor Joe Farmer was there to help me, and he always was. And Joe and Judy are really good friends of mine and Sally's, and we will always cherish that, and I will always cherish Mayor Farmer as teaching me how to be a mayor. Thank you, Joe.
And then there's one real, real quick in here. I'm going to squeeze this one in, and that's Shelly George, and she's standing by the back wall back there. Shelly always kept me organized. She always kept me organized and made sure that I was on time, which is impressive, and, and things of other nature. But Shelly always did a great job at that. And I um, also have to mention, I teased her when I walked in, was Teresa Warren, because used to, Teresa had one department, that was her. And anytime I needed something written, I'd just tell Teresa, Teresa, just give me dot points. And then she'd try to drop, make it all lay out. And I'd say, no, just dot points. Anyways, I was teasing her today, and see, Teresa, I didn't call you for dot points today. <laughs> so anyways, Teresa Warren, thank you very much for all you did. <laughs> The next one is Tim Dentler. We did it. <laughs> Where are you, Tim? <laughs> I will tell you, if there is not a greatest Parks and Rec director in the world, that's Tim Dentler. Wow, he did an outstanding job. He never said no. He always knows how to get things done. He could talk to people with the graciousness of his heart. He was just at an outstanding job for the city of Allen. He is such a great asset that Allen has had, and now he's even another asset has moved up to the assistant city manager. Thank you, Tim. <laughs> you know, the next person I have to mention is probably the best decision I ever made in the city of Allen, and, and I got the council to go along somehow. And, uh, but I will tell you that Someone said it in here, and I think it might have been Jane or somebody, Bennett, just a minute ago, that they called us the dynamic duo because me and Peter could really work wonders together. Peter Vargas did an outstanding job. Peter, I don't know how much to thank you, but anytime you walk around this city of Allen, it's not me, and it's not just the councils. Peter was a big part of that, and his staff and everybody involved did an outstanding job. I don't know, Peter came into town and and did just made it happen. He's did an out, he, I, wow, can't believe it. Peter, thank you. Thank you very much. I don't want to thank all the citizens of Allen for allowing me to serve for over 29 years. I don't know why sometimes, <laughs> but I don't know. But I, you know, it's just impressive. The city of Allen is great. It's always been dear to my heart. You know, I've been coming here basically all my life, so uh, I've got relatives that have been here, graduated from Allen High School in 1939. So, I mean, I can tell you, I've been coming in and out of town for many, many, many years. I remember when Allen only had 800 people in it. So it was kind of, kind of strange, you know. So, um, but it is. Allen has always been a dear to my heart. And uh, ah, I always said, and Bain said one of my quotes already. And then I always said another one too. I always said, if you let me run the city like it's a business, I will make a profit and I will give it back to you as a tax rate deduction. And, you know, we did that as I was mayor for over 26 years, I mean, 23 years. So we dropped the tax rate 26 cents. I have to say it, okay? <laughs> <laughs> and I will say, you know, And I want to thank Mike Simpson for being here. Me and Mike, former mayor of Frisco, we did a lot of things together, you know, and Mike, thank you, Mike, for being here. Appreciate it. <laughs> you know, the reason that this rec center and park are so special to me is I began with a desire to improve our parks and lower our tax rate, and now, here we are. Thank you. Wow, well deserved. Well deserved. Get these chills out real quick. <laughs> Sorry about that. Yeah, Steve mentioned a lot of, a lot of good folks uh, that really had a big part in making Allen Allen. 
and uh, and in the the humble way that he shared, he didn't tell you about the long meetings that he would have after the council meeting. Okay, we, we if you wanted to talk, it was after the council meeting that you sit outside by the car and lean on the side of the car for another forty five minutes, <laughs> and hear Steve have court. So. That's one of the, he didn't mention that. So those were a lot of meetings. And then you really want to talk to him. You go behind the cleaners <laughs> and walk in the back door. Schaefer, we've done that a couple of times. So, you, you know, just all the little nuances that he had that would allow you to, uh, to share your opinion. He was a listener. He's always been a listener. And uh, he allowed you to share your opinion and... Uh, and he listened, and he brought it back to the table. So he's, he was doing some of the things that he had already told us that Mr. Farmer used to do by coming back a couple of days later and talking about the CDC and the EDC. So he practiced what he preached. But with that said, I just want to thank everybody for coming out. What a great crowd today, um, coming out and being a part of this. It's a special occasion. I uh, want you to hang around. There's going to be some refreshments here pretty soon. And uh, at noon, please join us at the entrance of the lobby as we're going to do the ribbon cutting. And I think it's very important that we have this type of crowd to be able to do that ribbon cutting. It's out of respect. And with that said, um, and be sure to stay for the open house. There's going to be tours for the facility. So hang around, go look. It's very impressive. It's an extremely impressive facility. You know, the council, we had the current council, we had an opportunity to go and, and look before we opened, and it was just a serious, serious wow factor. So I encourage everyone to stick around. Let's have a few, uh, a few more opportunities to, to, uh, to honor Steve and his family, and uh, we'll do that here in just a little bit. Thank you for being here. We are adjourned. <laughs>